right? Yeah. So they're, they're I think, way, way out. Yeah. Like more than we've I've ever seen coming here. This is my spare bag. She goes in like the last one did. Oh, yeah. Wow. There you go. That was too easy, but that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, oh. We got like three more, four more. We got three more. Oh, nice. Our group. Try to go mid mine as much as you can. Okay. And then you're going to go to the base of the rattle. 40. Hey, Sam, did he have it on the, on the head? 41. Oh, really? Like You'll give. There you go, Grant. Yeah, but I saw him angling up, not down. Oh, they're going up that way? Yep. 41612. No, 41262. Oh, they're back. What'd you get for subs? 18. You know how to do it? Remember we did this the other day? Yeah, grab her. So, you guys, I'm going to go there. Here. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Just looking at her. She looks healthy. She's full. Which probably means she's gravid. I'm not going to get the bigger one. I'm going to get up there pretty good. Oh, that's a good size. Yeah, okay. There you yep. go. Yep, they're going to take up the them. Grab them. Oh, I got it. All the way through the tube. Good job. Where's that, where's that plate and pinch? Okay. I would, uh, okay, you got Get off the, no, pick it up. Nice. See how easy that was? A wild snake, too. It's a training session for the for the cadets, the, our, our new cadets, to get experience handling, and experience uh, looking for snakes and knowing knowing how to find them, um, if they, they need to do programs with them, or um, just to learn more about them. And, and they've gone through the classwork, and so this is like kind of the, the capstone where they get to uh, practice what they've they, they've been learning and try it. Rocky rocky habitat. Uh, that, that rock acts as, um, it holds heat, south-facing exposure, it's warm all day, and, and uh, the, the snakes just love it. They, they can hang around it. What's really important for, for those, those types of aspects is the snakes that are gravid, um, that, that gravid meaning pregnant females, and the females have to, they have to have eight to 10 hours of solar radiation per day to, to, to bake their babies, basically, so they can bring their metabolism up to, to gestate the, the young. So they need, they, and they'll be doing that from now until about September. Yeah, I, I would like to tell people, if you're in Pennsylvania and if you're above 1,500 feet, the likelihood of running into timber rattlesnakes are really good. They occur in 51 counties, so they're really common in, our, in high elevations. And it's kind of like, people don't really live there. We have a lot of state forests, national forests, state game lands. It's one of those things, if you see a snake, give it, give it its respect, give it its distance. You're not under any threat. They're pretty docile animals. People don't get that, but they really are docile animals. And when, when you encounter them, they just want to get away from you. They just want to go, hey, I wanted to go do my thing, get away from me. I want to go bask in the sun. <laughs> don't mess with me. So we ask people not to, to, to play with them. They can be dangerous if they bite you. Nerves, a lot of nerves. I was really nervous, but once I got my hands on it and got it got it calmed down. It was really exciting. A lot of adrenaline, definitely. Uh, we got to get some training on handling the snakes and tubing them and tagging them and um, we get to see the history of them and how they're growing and um, yeah it was really good. In the future I know once I get to my district if I have snakes in there I'll, uh, I'll be well trained to be able to handle them and whatever whatever comes. 
We do have timber rattlesnakes in parts of Pennsylvania, actually a lot of Pennsylvania, but um, mo mostly the northern half. And um, you basically, like, they're just out here. They're trying to survive in their natural habitat. And if you're out hiking and you come across one, they're not out to hurt you. They just want to protect themselves. So if you leave them alone, they're going to leave you alone.